So that song that you just heard was created by this guy right here. This is music producer Gabe Gallucci, famous for working on stuff on Shawn Mendes, Chris Howe now, which is kind of cool. Lizzie so Pierce. Lizzie Pierce as well. Uh, you've also mixed some of Peter's short films. So this guy knows a lot about music, knows a lot about sound mixing. So that song that you just heard, it doesn't exist. That was the first time ever hearing it. Tell everybody how you made that, by the way. I'm actually genuinely curious. Yeah, so the entire song is a mashup of different sound effects and stems you can find all on Epidemic's website. So he was he was texting me last night being like, oh, I'm working on this track. He's like, I just pitched a bowling ball to become like a snare hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, have, we have bowling balls as snare hits. We have uh, dice as transition fills. Uh, there's a lot. So yeah, in this video, you guys are gonna learn some like hot tips on like how to mix sound effects into your music to really give a little bit more impact to your visuals. So this light keeps going out in the background. And on that note, this is a good moment to mention that there is a contest going on with Epidemic Sound, who is the sponsor of this week's video. They have a contest called Soundtrack Your City. So if you guys wanna create your own visuals of the city, throw some sound effects in there, remix your own music. You don't have to remix your music, you can just use a normal track from the website. You guys can sign up for Epidemic Sound at the affiliate link below. You guys get a free trial there were no commitments, which is always kind of nice. You get to play around, try some stuff out and not have too much pressure. So if you guys upload and tag Epidemic Sound, Gabe and myself on Instagram, and then go to the submission form below and upload your video, you guys might have the chance to win a GoPro Hero 8, a one year subscription to Epidemic Sound, Urbanist, a headphone gift card for 150 bucks and a lot more. Plus we'll be checking out pretty much every single entry and we'll probably feature 100%. a few on our Twitter and Instagram pages. So yeah. there's there's a lot of fun stuff, Plus, it's just a good chance to get out there and be creative. And I think that's a that's a good point to let Gabe take over right now. We were talking like, how do we transition? I was like, I'm just gonna grab your hat and now Gabe's gonna take over. Boom. All right, well, this was a ton of fun. And what made it so great to work with this kind of a library is that Epidemic has 30,000 songs and over 60,000 audio samples and SFX, which is insane because to have that vast library on high quality waveforms and to have the stems of each song is like super, super valuable because what that gives you is control. And obviously you can just have a song as is, but the ability to separate it gives you the chance to not only change the arrangement of that song, pull stuff in and out, flip it around whatever way you want, but you can also find similar songs in the same tempo range and kind of create these cool mashups and use the vast library they have to complement each other. That's what we did here. We actually kind of supercharged a bunch of different great songs all into one to make like a super song and then used some of the cool SFX in like maybe unorthodox ways to augment the cool factor of what we did. The program I use is a program called Ableton. And what I did is take the idea of this limitless fast library of music that we have available to us and make the craziest mashup ever. All right, so this song, how did we make it? How did we put it together? So I'm gonna take you through, you know, the different things I did to put this together. Some of this stuff is a little more advanced audio kind of manipulation, but a lot of the core principles is stuff you can do in Premiere to augment your sounds and make them cooler. I just got a little carried away because this was a lot of fun and really exciting. So first thing I'll do is I'll say, you know, what kind of vibe are we going for? And Chris and I had talked and we're like, hey dude, what are you feeling? He's like, oh, you know what, I'm feeling some hip hop. I like it. I go to genres, I click hip hop. The first thing that showed up is this song called Bird Flex and the drums on this are so fire. <laughs> And there's a wicked vocal that comes in too. So I'm looking for like the first thing that just like gives me a ton of inspiration. I brought that into my program and was now thinking, okay, what melodically could I splice in with this that would work with it, but feel different than the song traditionally feels. And so I was, you know, going through the website and I came across this song called, I'm just an accident waiting to happen. It feels good. It had the dynamics I wanted in the arrangement. So this is gonna be my map. Whenever I'm looking to make a song, I kind of want three to four distinct dynamic sections that I can weave in and out of. So there's kind of like an intro sequence, energy build, pre-chorus or build, and then put your hands in the air, let's go for it. And this, this song had that vibe, but it wasn't the bounce I was looking for, which was great, because now I could bring in these new drums and that was gonna complement it. You want people to kind of feel the emotional build at each point. Original tempo is 128 for I'm Just an Accident Waiting to Happen. When listening to the chorus part here, because this is like the climax. But when you listen with the drums that I had, Okay, that's good, but I want it to feel like a little more drum and bassy. So I ended up 
pushing it to 130. That's just to give it a little more sense of urgency. So if you hear it now. Kind of has that makes you want to run feel. Now that I have my basic instrumental that is going to kind of guide the way for me and I have my core drums, now I'm going to kind of work from the most hype part of the song backwards. Now I have my drums. I want to augment these drums. So I went to another hip hop song called Golden Hours and it had a really wicked drum beat, moved one of the kicks around so that it could match the bird flex drums. So if you listen to these drums on their own, Really cool. And now if you add them with the bird flex drums, just adds an extra element of groove to it. But of course, that's not enough. I found another song called Make Me Feel Like You're Here Again. Found a loop that had the same pattern as what I had. And it sounds like this. Sweet. Now when you hear all three of those drum loops together, And if you had just the bird flex drums on their own. So that's driving the bus, but now you have all these other things just adding more spice. Now I wanted the snare thump a little harder. I was going through the sound effects and found a rolling bowling ball, which I actually used as a transition into the drop. So I have a rolling ball effect here. And then I cut where the bowling ball crashes into the pins. That's just stock bowling ball sound. Pitched it up to make it into a snare. And so now, if you pair that with the drums, you have a bowling ball snare. Super fun. Needed more percussion. There was an egg shaker. Cause you need something that's gonna maybe drive the rhythm a little more. Get some of those shoulders going. Anybody who's a fan of this channel knows about the shoulder wiggle. Needs a tambourine. So found a tambourine in the lovely library. Just on the downbeat. How do you make the chorus even bigger? You need something that when the chorus comes in, creates some sort of impact. Now, luckily, Epidemic's got some wicked symbols. And so I used symbol hit one to enter the chorus with, but I wanted something else to just like give it an extra hit in the chest. So crash cupboard two, and this is something you can use as like a random effect to just add any impact on anything in your videos. This doesn't have to be just in music. Boom, really good attack, hit it. A way to kind of expand that is take a reverb plugin. The decay time on your reverb plugin determines the size of the artificial room you're creating. And so a way to just make the sound larger than life is to kind of put it in almost a bit of an unrealistic size room, like a warehouse or something. When I put the reverb on, it goes from being more closed in to now. If you're working in Premiere, that's an easy way to just add more impact to existing sound effects that need a little more juice. Let's hear the chorus with all that cool stuff. Very fun. Another cool thing to build suspense that you can do in Premiere is reversing things. So taking a cymbal crash, a, a crowd noise, anything that has some sort of decay, you can reverse that and create a swell with it. So I did that here to build up to the chorus. Here's the cymbal swell reversed. Boom, took drum cymbal three and reversed that. I also took crowd cheer baseball, the crowd kind of peaked and then went down. And so what I wanted to do was reverse it so that the crowd peaked right before the drop. So that helps build some extra suspense. And basically you're just trying to create some sort of lift off, you know, something like this. <laughs> Doing pretty good. How do I take that even to another level? Let's add some crazy drums. So that make me feel song that I have layered in the chorus, there's a really cool tom fills that they were doing. Ooh, those are rocking, so those will help. And then I went and looked for some cinematic kind of stuff and there was Epic Percussion 1. Oh, and then that ending impact have that kind of peak at the end. So have that extra crash, but to make that even more substantial, I added from 
dummy bass steps too. It was actually the end, so if you listen to this whole thing. But that ending hit was so great, but I didn't want all the sizzle. You just take an EQ and you just filter out all the top. And this is something you can do to any of your impacts if you just want them to be felt and not necessarily hurt. We add all those drums in, all those crazy impacts, plus all the swells, this should launch you right into the chorus. Ready to go. That's feeling good. The vocal you're hearing also is from the Bird Flex. I just thought that was so cool. And it was just a good way of breaking up the, the transitions. So I have that kind of pasted on key moments. Cool, now that I have the most hype parts of the song nailed down, I go back to the beginning and build kind of slowly to that point. So now, like I said at the beginning, those dynamic layers I'm looking for, kind of a chill zone, a bit of a upgraded verse, pre-chorus, and then drop. So my chill verse is the intro, like kind of toned down drum beat from Bird Flex, just simple. So I'll have that loop twice, and that's when the bass comes in on the backing track. This is just great for creating listener excitement. You need levels to your music, otherwise things can start to sound really monotonous. Another cool way to kind of add or break up a monotonous piece of music is to add cool little fills. And taking kind of the reverb idea that we had for the impacts, what I did to create like a cool little fill here was Game Dice Roll 2 and Car Window Smash 2. So if you listen to those dry, add a little reverb sauce to them. Sounds really cool. And then in context with the song, makes a cool little transition fill. So that's how I built out the whole song. Now, obviously this is a, you know, really hot rotted approach and I definitely got carried away because of how much fun I was having. There's definitely a really basic way that you can take, you know, the core concepts of this and do it yourself in just Premiere or other basic audio software you have. Just by simply taking, you know, two songs in similar tempos and trying to do different mashups or overlaying some of the really cool effects that are in the library over top of existing songs, even just playing with filters on different parts of the stems, creating different dynamics on your own. So many simple things you can do that don't require a ton of audio knowledge, but can make a huge difference on creating those dynamic levels. So try it out, let me know, uh, and have a lot of fun. So for all the video content creators out there, uh, this is your chance to go and create something, play around, maybe mix and remix your own music, start using some of those sound effects for the contest that is going on, the soundtrack to your city. So again, if you guys wanna sign up for that contest, affiliate links are below. There is a free trial, no commitments, which is also really nice. Uh, this was a bit longer of a tutorial than I've ever really had on the channel, and we kind of, it was fun to deep dive a little bit. So if you guys are interested in any more deep dives, whether it's video production, music, you wanna see Gabe again on the channel, please leave a comment below, and on that note, check out Gabe, check out the links, and we will be checking out your content for the Soundtrack Your City contest. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we're gonna go to this place called San Remo. It's an Italian bakery around the corner. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go there right now because it's like one of our favorite things. Peace out, guys. Uh, hat transition again. Woo! Oh, sweet. Spice. Super fun. Hit it. Very fun. Boom. Oh.